All right, Salim Razai here, and I want to talk about ketamine today. So the ketamine brain continuum, what do I mean by that? Well, depending on what dose of ketamine we use, it can fall into one of four categories. It can fall into the analgesic dose, which is what I'm going to focus most of this talk on. There's the recreational dose, which hopefully none of us are doing that. The partially dissociative dose, which is bad things for our patients. And then the dissociative dose, which is what we use for procedural sedation and rapid sequence intubation. So what dose range are we talking about here? Well, for the analgesic dose, we're talking about 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram IV. The recreational dose falls into the 0.2 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram. The partially dissociative dose is 0.4 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram. And then we have our dissociative dose, which is greater than 0.7 milligrams per kilogram IV. So let's focus on the analgesic dose. So if I was going to use this for a patient, how would I go about doing that? Well, it's already what I said, 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram IV. You mix that in 100 mLs of normal saline, and you run that over 15 minutes. At least that's what the studies tell us. It turns out though, at the 0.3 milligrams per kilogram IV run over 15 minutes, there's still a ton of people to get this feeling of unreality, anywhere from 50 to 80% actually. And so there's really two options to help reduce this feeling of unreality. This is opinion and experience based, what I'm about to tell you. So we could start by just doing a lower dose, 0.1 to 0.15 milligrams per kilogram, in 100 cc's of normal saline and run that over 15 minutes. If that doesn't work, you can always give a second dose. Another option would be the 0.3 milligrams per kilogram in 100 cc's of normal saline, but instead of running it over 15 minutes, maybe you stretch that out over 20 to 30 minutes so you get less patients with less feelings of unreality. Since I've started doing one of these two things, I've had less patients telling me that they don't feel good when they get this medication, and it's a nice opioid sparing medication. So there you have it, the ketamine brain continuum, how to use it for analgesia. Leave me your thoughts and comments. If you're liking these videos, make sure that you like them and share them with your colleagues, and thanks for tuning in.